Hey you guys, welcome to round four of the 2018 Pro World Disc Golf Championships. Uh, this is the FPO lead card presented by Innova PDGA and thank you to Jomez for coming out early. It was kind of a cold morning. Uh, I'm Madison Walker. And I'm Lisa Fakus. We have Paige Bjorkis, Sarah Hoka, Rebecca Cox, and Kristen Tatar on the lead card today. Five stroke lead for Paige still leading into this round. It's crazy how dominant she's been all week and how consistent she just took a lead and just is holding on to it no problem i agree these courses are so challenging ob on almost every single hole out here on fox Road meadows yeah i would say like 95 percent of the yeah, fairways are lined hole 15 i think is the only hole i can think of with yep. no ob mm -hmm. pitching yeah that's like very true nine percent then <laughs> So hole one, um, you just kind of want to throw a straight shot off the tee, but not go too far. Fairway driver should work. Paige Bjerk is coming out here with her Tiger Woods red pants. Um, basically, you just want to not hyzer her out. Um, that's kind of the natural angle of the fairway. Um, or flip one over and go deep. It's probably only 300 feet to the landing zone, if that. Yeah, it's a real routine pool, but it's so easy to, it's so touchy, so it's easy to go long, left, or short. I've seen players do all three of those things. Unfortunately, Paige gets a little long on her drive, finds the OB on the right side, long. Gets a little excited off the tee, can't, can't really blame her. I did the same thing, yeah, it's so unfortunate. And from there, um, you have the option to take it where it went out or go right to the drop zone. And Sarah's showing us how it's done. <laughs> Throwing a nice placement shot, getting that nice medium power on her disc and placing it right there. Perfect for her approach. Cincinnati, Ohio, Rebecca Cox. Woo! Rebecca's been shooting hot all week here at Worlds. It's really cool to see her having her breakout year continuing. Oof. Oh, it comes a little low out of her hand. Oh, no. Maybe she plays a little nervous. Dang, that needed it to cross OB. Unfortunately, it stays yeah, short. so not like her. <laughs> There's a drop zone for if you do not ever cross in bounds uh, from the tee. So it looks like Rebecca will be taking it from the drop zone. Mm -hmm. And Kristen is a new face to the lead card this week. It's awesome to see her up here. She's been shooting really hot. It's got a lot of power. Yeah, I haven't got to play with her a whole lot, but I did play with her all in mixed doubles on Sunday. And she's got so much power, so much pop, and like a very true backhand release point. Mm -hmm. Paige doesn't quite get air under it. She cut rolls, but she stays safe in the fairway. She should have a very easy approach for... Uh, for, to the green. Yes, yeah, for her up and down, for her par. And it's a really sloping green from right to left here, so it's tough to match that grade. You can really see it from this camera angle here. Um, you really have to get it extra high, which you really don't want to do because then your disc is likely to kind of fade uh, off. Out of and yeah, out of bounds <laughs> is close by. So you really have to wow. kind of hold your breath a little bit and hope that your shot is right on point here. And Sarah does a great job putting herself up there for a lot, nice short putt. Mm -hmm. She's definitely inside the circle. Um, another thing is this this holds a lot of low ceiling. So um, you can see Kristen kind of puts it up in the trees. That's definitely a problem if you're trying to bite off some distance. Uh, you want to keep it low and linear and kind of skippy if possible. Mm -hmm. That's a nice height on that disc. Gonna come down. Very nice. Looks like she will have no problem saving her four, I believe. Paige kind of grabs just inside the circle with her putting. She'll, I, I have no doubts. <laughs> right. Confident in that range for her. Rebecca puts it right up there for her tap in. Looks like these lead card ladies are kind of struggling on hole one. Besides Sarah, who is on the green putting for birdie. Right. Oh, uh, no. Just high. It's, I feel like this week we haven't watched Paige really like fall apart on a hole. 
Yeah, she's been so solid. That's how you get a big lead on the whole field. Um, it's nice to see that she's human. <laughs> yeah, odds are that she's going to have a few hiccups. It'll be um, interesting to see how she can react to that. Mm -hmm. I heard if if I heard anything this week about her besides being playing amazing, um, she apparently had a very solid mental game out there, which is I think a big a big thing if you're trying to be in in a contest for the world title yeah that's definitely a big contributing factor mental attitude i don't i don't see a champion coming out here with like a, a weak mental attitude mm -hmm. um and then of course there's so much talent here just on the top cards um <laughs> week in and week out <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, moving on to hole two, a nice little shorty after uh, hole one kind of kind of wore out the ladies' lead card. Um, basically, you just want to pitch a little backhand turnover, a forehand off the tee. It's a super tight gap. You don't want it to finish out to the right because there's OB or deep. Um, it gently slopes downhill and left to right, so it really does kind of pull on your disc towards that out of bounds. Um, we could see some birdies here. We could see some bogeys. Hokum flips it a little more than she'd like, but she'll have a look at a long putt. No trees is a really good thing. Really <laughs> impressive to snake through all those trees right there. You want to stay oh. true to your line. Unfortunately, Kristen comes out super early. I feel like that tree gets hit more than almost any other yeah, tree on the does. course. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it redirects your disc in a really bad position. So, <laughs> yeah. um, OB, wow. OB even. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, nice line. Just gets a little bush, but she's up there. Oh, that was such a pure line. Paige catches a tree, knocks her off left, but she'll have a, an easy approach to the basket. Oh no. Take two here with Take Kristen. Two. She's thrown more forehands on these two holes than I saw her throw all day at Brewster Ridge. Yeah, she's scrambling major here. Paige making it look easy. She'll have a tap in for par. Kristen with a little jumper. Hard to say whether she was going for that or not. And Hokum playing nice and clean here. Laying up for her three. <laughs> oh yeah. Rebecca with a nice, a uh, little bit of a longer putt for Birdie. It's crazy to see a 270 foot hole that averages over over par for the ladies field. It so actually averaged for a 3.5. Yeah, it's it's the OB that really can get you on this course too at any moment. Mm -hmm. You get those kicks and you're adding strokes. And it's just far enough away where if you even if you decide to play and just get it down there and maybe go out of bounds and try to putt from out of bounds, yeah. it can be mean. It's far away. It's yeah. uh it's not clo it's not close enough to the basket where you can still make a putt. Okay. Moving on to hole three. We've seen a couple double bogeys already in the round. It seems like everyone's trying to get warmed up. Um, it was so cold, surprisingly cold. Yeah, definitely, because it's it's been so warm before that. So it was definitely surprising how cold it was. Yeah, we went from tank tops to beanies <laughs> within a matter of a day. <laughs> definitely. So OB on the right side is what you want to stay away from here. Those those sticks and send one right down the middle here is to it. 285 to the basket. There's no OB on the left, but you don't really want to be over there. It's Rebecca throwing a amazing hyzer flip. She's it doing does. a good job staying clear of the OB. Mm -hmm. She has quite a few trees in her path, but she should have a look for the three there. Hokum's following to the left side. He's also going to have some work to get up and down. I throw the forehand turnover on this shot too. The backhand seems so scary to me because that initial gap is so tight. The forehand seems scary to me just because you're kind of oh. throwing at the OB. Oh no. I'm trusting the flip. Unfortunate tree kick there for Paige. Christian's got a lot of power. Nice, Boom, dude. Nice release there. Wow. That's such a great shot. Oh, oh slow down. Pass the basket. 
There is OB. Oh, there the basket. is. I, I don't think she found OB. But, yeah, I um, think she was far enough left that it didn't come into play. Oh, tricky up and down. Rebecca look, makes it look easy. Wow, that was such a great skip shot. Just a few trees to work around here. And Hokum leaves herself a little further out than she wants. Yeah, she's wide a little on the left. Doesn't quite get the action with the downhill slope that you'd think she would have gotten. Whoa, Paige running at it. Paige, that was to save a oh. car from the OB. Oh no. Catches the rolls, needs to sit. Oh no, there's the OB again. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that's really dirty. Yeah, this course is really testing her today. On a good throw too, you hate to see that. She looks like she's staying confident. Yeah, it really does. Uh, she's hopefully going to shake that oh, one off. Oh, man. Yeah, ouch. That's a tough one. Wow, I did, did not realize like, this is, that this is how she started her round out this day. Is that Paige? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, struggles. That's, so far, it's been brutal. Yeah. uncharacteristic chain out there it's, it really is as if everyone's having a hard time getting warmed up yeah, everyone's a little slow here to beginning to begin the round uh maybe some nerves as we're in round four of the world championships page looking to tap in for a triple bogue double ob man that hole can be so mean that's a tough one. You never would think that. It's mm -mm. kind of a more straightforward hole out here. Apparently, the OB is wrapped around <coughs> the backside of the green where Paige went out on her second shot. Exactly. It's, it's there because there's wetlands that they want you to stay out of. But okay. still, on, when you're already in the woods and you're on a slanting green, I feel like it's kind of mean to have OB down there. Like you said, it's slants. So yeah. It's not hard for it to pick up and roll. No. Ugh. Ouch. Not my favorite and on the course design scope of things. So but, it's a really tough par four here on hole four. Uh, you have these alternate fairways. You can uh, choose the left and the right side. And um, lots of OB again um, <laughs> staked off here. And um, yeah, you want to send one down, be clean, get it up and down. Definitely a three-able. Um, it's about two 300-foot shots um, for the birdie. You'll see a lot of ladies turn over here and play to this island. Uh, there's a big bush right in the middle of the island that you don't want to get stuck behind. Looks like Rebecca might have cleared it to the right. Hokum throwing the forehand, which I think is a very smart play off this tee. She gets it up and around the bush, no problem. It's a lot of nice forward distance on that shot. She'll carrying have, it over the OB. She'll probably have another 250, 280 to the pin. Mm -hmm. Kristen, distance heiser is oh. chopped off a little bit. That needs to come down really quick. So. I wonder if she was trying to go around the tree. It looked like she was, and it kind of just came out early. That straight fairway scares the... That's the same shot I like to go for. Really? And, uh, it scares easy. the crap out of me. Yeah, it's easy to kind of saw it off. But, I mean, if you just kind of try to shake your nerves <laughs> off, just throw a simple heiser. Mm -hmm. um, try to land in the middle. Yep. Paige lands on the island safely. Kristen's throwing from her first out of bounds shot. And then the good thing is too, if you go OB there, you can get up and down um, pretty easily. Hopefully, slick. yeah, because you get a lot of distance off the drive. So it's she wide open over hopefully there. Hopefully, we'll si save her par from there. Rebecca going for the green. Wow, that's such a good shot. Ooh, slow down. Just before the OB. Nice. Look at this mountain view. We get to look at it all weekend. It's awesome. Paige throwing a putter, I believe. Wow. She throws her judge so well. Straight at it. Yeah, I'm going to miss these views when we're gone. I know. We're kind of spoiled this week. Totally. Oh, it's carrying way too straight. Welcome gets over on it a little bit more than she wants. There was also a little bit of wind. It kind of swirls on all the fairways out here because we're in a sort of a valley and all, along a ridge. So, yeah. ooh, could run. So, like, you can check the wind and then put your towel down then check it again, you know, a minute later and it'll be a different direction. Yeah. Even though the wind wasn't high, it still comes into play a lot. You have yep. to constantly check the wind and be aware mm -hmm. of what's going on. 
Huge birdie putt from Rebecca. So awesome. Paige. Awesome. That's a shorter birdie putt. Kristen looking for saving her par. Mm hmm. Okay, moving on to hole five. Um, it's a fun downhill hole here. Fun and scary. Fun, but scary. Pretty with the water in the background. 445 feet to the basket. We well, had a headwind. Did you have a headwind right when yeah, you did this? Yeah, a slight hit. Like, yep. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty um, steady. Definitely scary. You want to trust your disc here. Possibly send it out to the right hand side. Mm -hmm over the OB line, hyzer it back beyond the trees is a typical play. Mm -hmm. And Rebecca's lining up that big hyzer. She's got a nice hyzer. She really booms this one. Looks like she might get tangled up in those trees a little short. Yeah. Or does she get around? Oh, yeah, she gets tangled up on top of the ridge. She'll have an easy up and down from there. Might have to deal with some limbs. Paige okay. floats it way out there. She does. She gets a lot of nice air under her disc, but sends it straight enough. Wow. Wow, she really actually plays with that OB on the right, uh, the left side, but comes down with the green flag. Was she inside the circle? She was way I down tell. there. I I think it might have been circle two, if not. Hokum doesn't quite get over on it as much as she'd like to, but it looks like she's still going to land safe. She tangles up in those tree branches. Right, and that's what you kind of want to do. That surprises me. She's got so much distance, I would have thought she would have got out around those, no problem. It might have been the wind mm -hmm. as well today, like you're saying, kind of. Kristen puts it a little higher than swirling. you want. Oh no, she's got so much power. She unfortunately finds the long OB on the left. Looks like she doesn't quite commit to the hyzer. You really do have to like put it way out wide over OB, wider than it's comfortable. Oh no, Rebecca! Dang it, Another Rebecca easy gets mistake. the old yeah. She gets the old false flag. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this approach is so scary because the basket's on the edge of a hill. So if you don't land flat, you could roll down to the right, and if you air it out too much to land it flat, it could easily go out of bounds, like we saw Rebecca's. Very touchy green. Just want to walk away with this is for something solid. That was her. That, was, that wasn't no. her drive. That wouldn't no. have to be her I think we shot. Must have, did yeah. we miss that? Okay. Rebecca looking to save a bogey. Oh, wow. That was a solid stroke. Gets a lot of chains. Oh, Kristen finds some chains. Not quite enough. So sorry if you guys can hear the dog barking. Blame Nate Sexton. He's the worst. It's his dog. <laughs> Joby? Joby. Paige taps in for par. Hokum will tap in her for bogey. The hole can get you. Um, I, there, I don't think there would be many twos on that hole from the ladies field. Oh, I highly doubt it. It would be almost a... Not a throw in, but it'd yep. have to be a really good drive. Yep, no clearly. twos. Especially in that field. wind, it's mm -hmm. uh, really difficult to get up there. Um, hole six is, um, I find it to be a kind of a difficult hole, slightly uphill, but it's a short hole t playing 290. But uh, you kind of have to turn something over really sharp or throw a flick at it and um, get around a tree um, that's in the fairway off the box a it's couple a hundred very, feet. It's a very awkward yeah. angle and very intimidating because you're throwing directly at OB and the basket's right. blind. Yeah. So you just have to really trust your disc. Um, there's OB to the right of the basket as well. It's a that, great trust right there. Yeah. Nice turnover shot. Paige is really good at those. Mm -hmm. She kind of plays with it, uh, puts it, puts it up there close. You got to take a risk to get to this basket. Hokum might be, oh, wow. Yeah, that hugs the trees and it still filters straighter than I expected. Oh, cool, follow flight. I kind of thought she sawed that off, but... Yeah, she gets good height. It lifts up nicely, hyzers into the basket Looks area. Looks great. 
Yep. Did you go for this? I didn't. I laid up. Me too. Yep. I laid up every round, and I don't ever lay up. No, I don't either. I remembered last <laughs> year. I definitely went for it and um, got it, like, maybe once, maybe didn't get it once, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable at this time going for it. And I agree. But then I saw a lot of people getting it backhand, and I'm thinking, wow, I should have... Uh, tried that maybe tried the high turnover backhand line but it's so touchy and hard and Kristen's really impressive there with like the low line mm -hmm. yeah I she, thought she was laying up but me, she went all the yeah. way <laughs> I feel like that was not on purpose oh but you don't think so I don't think so Gosh. but that was definitely a, a kind of a smart play I'd say that was a cool like kind of sneaky layup but um very very tough shot I think Rebecca with a really great birdie Sports Center, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, my fantasy league. <laughs> <laughs> Paige Bjork is with a birdie. We expect nothing less. Oh, no. Even with a great drive, this elevated basket can really get the best of you. I kind of like this, that they put a lot of baskets on elevated um blocks this year and kind of yeah. created these uh things for the basket it's kind of a nice touch yeah um so on that whole six there was actually only six birdies and three of them were on the lead card that's pretty cool cool got to watch all of them yeah this is an awesome view right here from the drone footage too Love bad that. the hole's not that awesome no it's <laughs> like no just it's, kidding yeah it's, it's a it's just such a long hole obviously it's so hard um <sighs> Opposite. So much can go wrong. So there's just so <laughs> much out of bounds. There's no, the the left side of uh, out of bounds on this hole is not really marked on this camera angle, but the entire left side is out of bounds as well. Um, basically, just it, just it looks yeah yeah. It's so the wind is swirling the whole time, so like anything can happen at any moment. Flip it over just a little bit too much, and you're out of bounds. Yeah, this is one of the harder holes out here for that reason. It's so touchy. You're throwing full power shots, like three of them in a row. <laughs> the camera, footwork there. The camera guys dancing. <laughs> With the backup, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Reverse. Um, but yeah, you're throwing full power shots and trying to get these hit these placement spots on the fairway. And if you're a little off, if you carry, then you're finding OB. I don't know if y'all saw, but the average score on this hole was 6.79 for the ladies' field. So there's definitely a lot of bogeys uh, and double bogeys and even triple bogeys on this hole in the FPO field. Rebecca puts it a little higher and kind of uh, early releases. She'll be way out of bounds left. Um, I wonder if she cr even crossed over. Didn't look like it. Yeah. So I think there's a... What is it? A drop zone? Yep. There. Oh. No, you play it. Play it from where it went. Goes out of bounds. So she'll okay. be taking it on this side of the creek. Gotcha. <laughs> Kristen puts it way down there, but also out of bounds. It looks like she definitely crossed over the uh, onto the island over the creek. I guess they ruled that Rebecca did as well. Rebecca keeping this extra low, maybe on purpose as a play to keep it in bounds. Super smart play. Really center cut there on that shot. Oh no, Hokum's turning that one over. Doesn't look like it's coming back. The thing about this hole, it's it's 1,085 feet, so you want to throw max distance shots because to get, just in order to get the par, but when you start maxing your distance is when you start erroring a little bit left and right. Wow, Kristen gets that way up in the air. Probably oh. too much, much more than she wanted because... Um, She's out of bounds. That's when by... trouble happens, yeah. I think, on this hole when you air it out too much. Paige really trusts that disc, works it all the way to the right side and back to the left. Lands safe, no problem. I love that, working the whole fairway. Oh, my God. oh no. Oh, Hokum goes out of bounds again on the left-hand side. If I remember correctly, it was kind of a head crosswind from right to left during our round but like i said earlier it swirls around so much it's hard to to make a consistent decision nice power on that shot Rebecca booms up that's i believe her third shot yeah, she laid up on her previous shot so she's showing us 
how smart it is to do that. Ooh, Kristen flips it. Gosh, these ladies, yeah, I mean, just showing us how easy it is to go up out of bounds on this hole. I don't want to be mean, but it is nice to see that other people had as much trouble with this <laughs> hole as I did. Yeah, deja vu here for my round. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Paige gets it up there on the, out, just outside circle one. She'll have a long putt, I believe, for birdie. Was it? Okay. I think so. Impressive. After two out of bounds, Hokum's hoping to put it up on the group. Oh, no. Oh, no. Such a bummer. Sometimes you find yourself kind of pinballing from one side of the fairway to another when you're OB. That was three and out of bounds for Hokum. That yeah. is on one hole. That's so brutal. Wow. So brutal. Oh, my gosh. Big skip off that wood uh, plank right there. I but don't stays quite in love that, that it's so hard packed because Rebecca just threw a perfect shot. And if it was grass, it would have stayed. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It had a weirdly hard bounce to it. Mm-hmm. Welcome looking to save a stroke. Oh, it's so hard not to just feel defeated after this. Paige pitches up. She'll have a tap in for par. Just inside circle one, it looks like, for Rebecca. Oh, no. Just nose down mm. on that release. After throwing such a perfect approach, I know that's hard. So only 20% of the field got a par on this. Mm. That's not very many. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, yep, there was 81% bogey or worse. And uh, if you were to cut that into thirds, it was about the same amount. Bogeys, double bogeys, and triple bogeys. Wow. Crazy. I wonder if it was because the wind today kind of keeping players from getting the par. I think the wind, the cold. I don't know. This yeah, hole's just hard yeah. in general. <laughs> Paige walking away with the lone par. Yep, picking up strokes on the field there. Huge. Hole eight is another sneaky OB hole hidden back up the fairway where- um, This one's a lot wider though. It is a lot wider and just, I don't know, shorter, but mm -hmm. straightforward. Uh, 550 feet par four now. I feel like something about the way that the fairway S's makes it more approachable as well. It's more like a disc golf shot instead of just dead <laughs> straight, you know? That is so true. <laughs> yeah, it, it really shapes toward for um, your shot. Mm -hmm. You can um, throw backhand or forehand off the box here. It's Most slightly, players backhand though. It's slightly uphill as well. And I don't know about you, but I feel more comfortable throwing uphill. So yeah. I think you can be a little more aggressive and not have to worry about your disc doing crazy stuff. Yeah, I agree. You can power it up the hill mm -hmm. and it's much more predictable flight. Rebecca gets a lot of air under that. Mm, she'll be close. Yeah, flirting with OB. It looks like it's staying in really mm -hmm. nice. Just barely. Kristen, Kristen booms one up near the corner. Just gets a little low, but that's a good placement. Wow, smash by Hokum. She'll be over to the right-hand side. She it's, almost yeah. gets, almost plays at the OB deep, which it's, I would say is about 350 feet right. away. It's pretty hard to do, so it's, it's good to kind of just smash on that and just trust that you're not going to hit that OB. But she gets one Ooh. well up there. Kristen plays with the OB on the right side, but she'll have a just outside it's the circle putt. Shot. Yeah, yeah, super great. This one's cool being 550 feet. Um, if you want to be really aggressive on these two shots, you can give yourself a birdie look. Hokum's in position to do that, but saws it off. Oh, even though it's only 550, which, you know, would break down into just throwing 225, 225, I feel like, I mean, 275, 275, I feel like it plays a lot longer being uphill. Just slightly, longer. for yeah. sure. So you just have to commit to those booms. That second shot's a lot harder with the OB coming into play inside the circle. Uh, Rebecca puts a nice hyzer shape on her sh shot coming inside inside the circle there for her putt. Paige laying up nicely. Laying up nicely. <laughs> Y'all bear with us, we're tired. <laughs> we're, just, we're tired and we're, we're barely making we it right now. Did we say that yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kristen gives it a solid run for birdie. Super solid run. 
age holding on to the lead no problem taking yeah. the par it's nice to see her cleaning up uh, her round a little bit after she had a rough couple holes at the beginning mm -hmm. she was able to shake that off nicely rebecca just jams her putts in yeah she has a really hard putt They're very kind aggressive of scary if you miss it it's especially, gonna go kind of far especially when it's like a 10 footer and she just jams it in there just like it was a 40 footer like right. i'm always afraid it's gonna one like, speed yeah i'm afraid it's gonna like pop out yeah. hit me luckily <laughs> she's got her target right on point yeah <laughs> and moving on to the last hole of the front nine uh the rock hole the rock hole it is a birdie hole 315 mm -hmm. feet slight downhill and also kind of a left to right slant you can see there coming from the water's edge mm -hmm. uh, there's a there's a hill on the left you can see the stakes are about halfway up the hill so it gives you a little room to play off that and on the right hand side there's a big gully uh, you don't want to play with the right hand side at all um, basically you just want to try to throw one straight I think it's really important to kind of put a hyzer on it and throw something really overstable or else you're going to possibly flip and carry mm. to the uh, right hand side, which is what Paige just, just did. Way easy to do because of the way the land slopes. Rebecca puts a lot of hyzer on this and looks like she oh, might get tangled up. Yeah. yeah. That grass up there is really thick and grabby. Holds it. Yeah, holds the disc up there. This is a really great shot for Kristen's game. Yep. This is basically her type of shot. Yeah, just power, straight shots, a lot of boom on her backhand. Hook them through in the forehand flex. She keeps that one nice and low. Wow, what a shot. Puts she it in the circle. Even though Lisa called this a birdie hole, um, it's a pretty tough get with the, how weird the angle and the hill is. Um, it's it's hard not to be a little scared stepping up to the tee. Um, I wouldn't say it's an easy birdie. No, <laughs> but just any. with it being 315 feet mm -hmm. downhill. Um, it's gettable. It's definitely gettable. Oh! I can say it's a bonus birdie. Kristen wanted it. Looks like she'll have a tap in for par. Hoke, I'm looking at birdie from just outside the circle. Oh, she'll go check out the rock. <laughs> Paige looking to tap in for Bogue. Oh, no. Just off the top. Sarah gets a really uh, extra long carry after ramping off the basket. Oh, my <laughs> God. Birdie turns to Bogey so quickly out here. Man, that's so brutal. That's a tough one. Yeah. Um, There's actually only three twos um, on the field. Uh, Haley King, Paige Pierce, and Ellen Woodboom. Awesome. Ellen Woodboom in it. <laughs> Probably threw a big forehand. I bet she did. Forehand dominant player. Mm -hmm. Moving. Oh, we're done with the front nine. Rebecca Cox has the hot front nine score. Uh huh. Paige still five. holding on to her lead. Uh, Rebecca jumps into second with Sarah Hokum. Paige kind of climbs into the top four. Kristen drops a few spots. Um, we still have another nine holes for this uh, fourth round. And we get to watch how these ladies attack the back nine. Anything can happen uh, on Fox Run Meadows. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Madison Walker. And I'm Lisa Fakus. Join us for the back nine. <laughs>